how you all doing today? My name is Bernie Thompson and today we're here to take a look at this 2021 GMC Yukon. This vehicle was hit in the front, so this came from a body shop and it had damaged the front radar. They put a new front radar in it and they brought it to this shop and then this shop couldn't get a program because it was the wrong radar. The actual number was wrong. Now they've researched it and they put the right radar unit in this car, but it's still setting the exact same codes as it did with the wrong radar. So our job is to figure out what's wrong with this. Let's take a look at these codes. Okay guys, let's take a look at these codes. These are the codes with the known wrong control module. I have a U1962 unable to authenticate serial data message and this is from the forward range radar sensor long range and this is forward range long radar sensor as well AU0422 invalid data received from the body control module. Now this is with the alleged correct module we don't know that yet but this is with supposedly the right module in the car. And that is, I have a U1962, again, forward range radar, long range, unable to authenticate serial data, and I got a U0442, again, forward looking radar, long range, invalid data received from body control module. Okay, now a lot of shops tell me it's the same problem, but really, this one really is. He's printed both sets of codes. So we have the same code, and we have two different control modules on here. Now this car was hit in the front, so is this some wiring problem or is this a bad module problem? We got to figure it out. But I know the best way for me to get to that data is to get a scope and get it connected to this forward range radar. Okay, we need to get this car up so I can get underneath to get to that front radar. Here's the long range radar and I've connected into the harness and I'm in the power of the ground and the can high and can low of the both are on the high speed bus. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some data. So here we're watching the forward radar on this GMC. You can see it start to fail right there. Now it just stopped receiving an acknowledgement bit from the bus. That waveform right there is an acknowledgement bit that's missing in the in the waveform. Is what it, that module, that front radar, just keeps asking if anybody can hear him, and no one put an acknowledgement bit, so he keeps you know, it will keep repeating that message indefinitely until some other module puts a bit in. Any other module that's on this bus. Okay guys, that's one of the craziest waveforms I've seen. Now what this right here is, is that is an acknowledgement bit loss. In other words, when these modules in CAN are on the bus, there is a bit designated to be left recessive and it's up to one of the other modules on the bus to put the bit in or to make it go high. That tells this module that someone is out there listening. When that doesn't happen, then we get this, where we have a message message. Do you see how it's repeating and it's the same? One right after another, it's just the same thing. Okay, well what that's doing is it's saying, is anyone out there? Can anyone hear me? Can anyone hear me? And no one's putting the acknowledgement bid in. Now this is a very common waveform that I see regularly at body shops. So the wires, the CAN wires are cut when I usually see this. I don't see a good CAN message and then see it do an acknowledgement reading. I've never seen this before. This is really interesting. So this is crazy. But this is an acknowledgement. So when we go back out here, we can see that's an acknowledgement. It's trying to get the bit, but no one's putting the bit in. Now, with it running and I have a can, full can messaging, the wires are connected and then it just went to an acknowledgement phase. This makes me think that either the module or the radar, long range radar is still the wrong module or the program got corrupted when they programmed it. I'm not sure what happened, but I know that there's a problem and it's really an interesting problem. 
I just have never seen it to where I've seen this signal. When you usually see this signal, the CAN wires are cut. And then the other modules can't fill that acknowledgement bit. So wow, that's pretty cool. That really is. So what I got to do now is I need to get a wiring diagram up and I need to find where these wires go to and I want to get into there and I want to make sure that the message is getting to the next module, that nothing happened in the wiring harness when this car was hit. This is really different, but I think that that's either the wrong module or a program problem that would make something like this happen. But I don't know because I've never seen it. So let's get a couple of more leads and let's get into a couple more. I need, to, I need the CAN high speed bus at the module from where this module goes to where it sends. So let me figure out where that is and then uh, let's get that data. Okay guys, this is a 2021 and I can't find the right wiring diagram for this vehicle. But I found a similar vehicle in 20 and it shows that those two wires from the long range radar come into the front camera. So I'm in those wires, the high speed bus can high and low. And now we're going to go see if those are the correct bus or not, because this car will have several different CAN buses. So now we're in the wires. Let's go get the data. Okay, guys. So I'm connected into the CAN high-speed system at the camera. So now we need to see if these are on the same bus as these are. So we're connected. Let's come over here and look at this. Okay, so we can see clearly now that those are the same bus. So those are definitely on the same bus, so those are the wires. I'm just not sure because I don't have a wiring diagram on a 2021. But I have something that seems like it's going to work, and now I know it's going to because those are right. So now let's go ahead and get this to fail. failed again, but this is even a crazier failure. Notice that I have acknowledgement bit. This is an acknowledgement bit loss. And the module is still requesting, is anyone there, is anyone there, is anyone there? And then all of a sudden, the bus comes up and starts to become active, and then it goes back into an acknowledgement. I've never seen anything like this. Normally, when I get this acknowledgement bit, the wires are cut. Now to prove the wires are good, we got to the camera. So let's shut off. That's at the camera. This is at the front radar. And we can see that those are the same messages. That proves to me that the wiring is intact going into the car. Now this car took a frontal impact. Now anything can happen to the wiring. And a lot of times the body guys don't pay enough attention to the wiring. I do a lot of body shops. And you never know what you're going to get. So I do see these kind of messages, but the wires are always cut. That means you never see a full bus. That, the bus is actually active on this system, and then it's going into a failure. It's a really interesting problem. I've just never seen it before. Normally, when I got an acknowledgement bit loss, the wires are cut. Now, we know that these aren't cut, one, because we have full messaging, and it went in from a full message to a failure. So. This is something like the wrong module or the wrong program. This is something else. This isn't wiring, I don't think. My powers and grounds are good, and I'm having an acknowledgement failure where I had a burst of data. Now, to me, that's telling me that I've got the wrong module or the programs are corrupt when they loaded them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the, the module number, and I want to call and I want to verify that that module is the right one for this car. And as we already know, they already had the wrong module in this car to start with, and this is supposedly the right module. But I never know right. I want to confirm it. So we're going to confirm that this is the right module, and then I'll know what to do. So let me get those numbers, and let me call my, my expert parts man over at GM and talk to him and see if he can give me some insight if this is the right module in this vehicle or not. So let me get that done, and then we'll figure out what to do with this car. 
Okay guys, so I called my parts man at GM. I've been working with this guy for 20 years. He is top notch. He assures me that that part number that I took off of this module is right for this car. So now I feel confident that that module is the right one. Now I don't know that that module is good or bad. Just because it's new doesn't mean it's good, guys. Never make that mistake. But I do think that I need to try to reprogram it because I think something happened when the program got into the car, it contaminated it. Now the other thing I want to program is the image moduling. Let me explain why. I have a multi-layer problem here. Notice that I'm, I've got an acknowledgement bit failure because that I know this waveform and that's an acknowledgement bit and then I had communication like it filled the acknowledgement bit. Now any module on the bus can fill that bit. Now we know that we got to the camera and the camera got to the image moduling but the, the, the main module should have been able to put an acknowledgement bit in this. So I want to reprogram it and the front radar. I'm going to program both of them and then we're going to see where we got. So let me get those programmed and then let's see how this is going to work. Okay, we've reprogrammed the image processing module and the front radar. Now we don't have codes. They're communicating now. Now let me show you what's going on here. So we got the forward range radar and I only have a configuration. I need to go drive the car so it can learn. But it doesn't have all of the data not valid. Those codes are gone. Now the only thing we have is we're not configured. That just means that we need to go drive it so it can learn for the ADA system. So we'll do that here in just a minute. But right now I want to go look at the scope because right now I think this car is fixed. We're communicating now. Now we've gotten rid of the communication codes that we've had with, with both of the modules prior to this. And the other thing that I want to make sure that everyone's aware of, on these new GMs, nothing can be on on these cars when you program them. We're all so used to GM when you program them that you have the key on during programming. On all these new ones, the key cannot be on. You don't want to have any kind of headlights on. The whole car needs to be dead when you start to program it. If you put on the key during a programming, you can contaminate the programming. So please make sure on these new GMs, these aren't like the old ones. These are very different. You have to have the key off and the, the system needs to be dead when it programs. And it's very possible that something was on, the headlights were on when he programmed it. Maybe he even accidentally put the key on because he does a lot of GMs and that's just sort of a habit, like I even have the habit. But on these new cars, you cannot do that or you're going to have problems. Right now, this car is, is programmed and working. So let's go take a look at the scope and see what the data looks like. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some data. So this is the data and this bus looks fine. I don't see any problems here. So notice how the data packets, I have small packets and bigger packets. That's the way a CAN bus system should be looking. It should never look like what we've been seeing where we have the solid blocks of data, that's an acknowledgement bit failing. In my experience, that's what that tells me. Now we have a good bus and it's not failing at this time and we're not setting COM codes. I believe that when we put the program, when the shop put the program in, I believe when the shop put the program in, the program just got contaminated when it went in. And remember that all this is synced through clocking. And if the clock is off just a little bit, it may not see the acknowledgement bit correctly and then it doesn't realize it was installed even though it might have been. So these, clock, these are really orchestrated systems where clocks are involved. And each module has its own clock and it's clocking itself. And if one of these clocks is off, it can't, it can't determine the communication, it can't work on this bus system correctly. Now that they're programmed and the clock structures appear to be good, we no longer, as we can clearly see, we no longer have the data that we just have been seeing to where we go into an acknowledgement bit failing.
from a full bus. This is a really interesting car. This is really a cool car. I've just never seen this problem. This is really cool. So you can get an acknowledgement bit error, I guess, from the clock structures being off. And the clocks could be set up from, from a software issue. As we can see, we've programmed it. Now we're not setting those codes and everything is good. So, wow, that's just cool, guys. This is a really cool car. Just never seen this problem. On every other car I've seen with an acknowledgement bus error, the wires are broken or one of the wires is broken. In this car, I guess you can get that from a software issue as well. And I can understand why, because I understand the clocking. And if the clocking wasn't right and it's waiting for that bit to be filled, but it's, the clock is off, it might not realize that it was filled and it might go ahead and keep processing like it didn't see the acknowledgement bit was filled by one of the other processors. In this case, this car is fixed now. So we need to go drive it and then get it to configure, get the system done, and then he'll be ready to return to the body shop. Okay guys, we're right off of the test drive in this GMC. The forward-looking radar is configured to the vehicle. There's no code set. This vehicle is ready to return to the body shop. What I want you guys to take away from this video is, is if you use a scope with a little bit of knowledge, you will always have good troubleshooting in your base too.